everyone. My name is Emily, and this is my mermaid. Gotcha, bitch. It's Mer June. You're probably wondering, why, Emily? Why are you late year after year for mermaid? Why are you constantly doing it in June? And I'm going to tell you why. Because I ain't got time for that shit. That aside, I also really wanted to take my time on this piece. There were a lot of components to it that I had to kind of figure out and exactly what I wanted to do and what kind of landscape I wanted. So usually there is some time that is taken to plan my artwork um, and for this piece it was a lot of time. I would say usually um, I will give myself about mm, half hour to an hour to plan a larger piece. Uh, this took maybe like five. <laughs> because I had so many ideas that I just ended up scrapping. It, it was just, it was one of those artworks, baby. I guess I didn't really expect it to take so much time, and it did, and oh well, I probably should have started it earlier, but I kind of forgot Mermaid was a thing until halfway through May, so. I, I dropped the ball on this one. That's essentially what I'm trying to get across. And as per usual with me, I wanted to take something bright and happy and cheery and ruin it. You're a mean one. Mrs. Emily. Are you guys ever amazed at how low my voice can go? Because I'm really not. Someone once told me that I'm a pretty woman with a squirrely boy cartoon character voice and I'm not mad at it. Can't put a paper bag over my voice. out of subverting an idea um, and so that's kind of where this whole thing started but it ended up growing into something a lot more important. Did you know there is so much plastic debris in our oceans, 5.25 trillion pieces and counting, that it causes the death of over 1 million seabirds and more than 100,000 marine mammals a year? That's insane. That includes cute little dolphins and orca whales and chubby sea lions. Big chubby sea lions. There's so much debris in our oceans, we actually had to name large masses of accumulated trash. There's a gyre in the North Pacific that is now known as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch. We are literally naming giant masses of trash the same way we would name a pumpkin patch, we would name a Christmas tree farm. This is dark. Something, something is not right here. So for this Mer, May, Mer June, whatever, I encourage all of you guys to donate to the Oceana organization. Oceana is an international organization dedicated to the preservation of our world's oceans and all their denizens. Oceana has already helped protect over 3.5 million square miles of ocean, but the ocean is a large and vast place and they need our help. Any size donation is acceptable from $25 to $5, even a single dollar. Every little bit counts. And even if you're not in the position right now to donate, you can do your part by making sure you recycle your glasses and plastic and cardboards appropriately, making sure they make their way into their proper bins. Another great way to help is to reduce the amount of waste you're putting out into the world. Things like reusable coffee cups, glass straws, rags instead of paper towels, and repurposing other household items.
sure you'd feel just heartbroken if you saw a mermaid in this very compromising and realistic situation, just entangled in ocean debris and plastics and trash. So why should we feel any different for marine mammals and ocean birds and fish? They are living, breathing creatures. They are part of this animal kingdom just like we are. And just like us, they're trying to survive. So let's do our best to try and help them. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to stay out of trouble. See you guys later. This piece was made on Strathmore's 400 series watercolor paper, and it was painted with White Knight's watercolor and Windsor Newton gouache. All other materials will be listed in the description down below.